Welcome to South Coast AQMD On The Air's Governing Board Meeting Highlights for October 2015. In this episode, the board selects their chair and vice chairman for the coming 2016 through 2018 term. Dr. Clarky e. Parker is reappointed to the board. The board approves funding for programs to replace and upgrade old dirty diesel powered school buses with newer cleaner technologies and to combine two new technologies to measure air toxic pollution from refineries and other heavy industries near communities. And the board holds its October meeting in downtown Los Angeles to host the 27th annual Clean Air Awards. The South Coast Air Quality Management District is the air pollution control agency for all of Orange County and the urban portions of Los Angeles, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties. Home to almost 17 million people, this is the second most populated urban area in the United States and one of the smoggiest. So don't go away. We'll be right back after this special message. I'm an athletic trainer. My players are like family. I have enough to worry about keeping them healthy. I don't need to worry whether the air is going to hurt them. That's why I've downloaded the South Coast AQMD's new and improved app for smartphones. This app allows me to check the air quality before outdoor activity. It also helps me find alternative fueling stations for my car and learn more about other clean air activities in my community. So, what are you waiting for? Get connected. To download this app, just look for SCAQMD in your app store. South Coast AQMD, cleaning the air that we breathe. South Coast AQMD's governing board is made up of 13 members appointed by local and state governments. Every two years, they select members to act as chairman and vice chairman of the board. At the October meeting, the board selected Dr. William A. Burke, the current chairman, to continue in that position. Dr. Burke was first appointed to the board in 1993 by the Speaker of the California Assembly and has served as both chairman and vice chairman. Board member Ben Benoit was selected as vice chairman. Mr. Benoit is a council member for the city of Wildemar and was appointed to the board in 2012 by the Riverside County City Selection Committee. These positions begin in January 2016. Board member Dr. Clark E. Parker Sr. was recently reappointed by the California Senate Rules Committee and took the oath of office for his four-year term. Coming up next, new technologies to help clean the air that we breathe, right after this. New technologies are the key to achieving clean air in our region. The Governing Board approved two programs to put some of this new technology to work. Burning diesel fuel produces toxic fine particles that can go deep into our lungs and even into our bloodstream. Diesel exhaust also produces a gas that mixes with other gases in our air under our intense Southern California sunshine and creates ozone, a serious air pollution problem in our region. Old diesel school buses are especially a problem because children are exposed to diesel exhaust both outside and inside the buses. Children are more sensitive to air pollution because their bodies are still developing and they breathe a lot more air than adults for their body weight. So the board approved the use of up to $25 million in special state provided clean air funding to replace or upgrade about 150 old buses in our region with new cleaner burning technologies such as natural gas, new cleaner burning diesel engines, or adding special filters to recent but older models. There have also been great developments in the technology of measuring pollution in the air. Yesterday's instruments are literally museum pieces compared to today's advanced air pollution sampling and analysis equipment. One promising new technology is low-cost, compact sensors that can give anyone instant air quality information and, in many cases, be connected to networks to share that information with others. South Coast AQMD has set up a special AQ-SPEC program to start testing these portable sensors for accuracy under all conditions. 
In another program, they are also evaluating new technology for remote sensing. This technology can read air pollution from a distance using lasers and other sensors that can use light directly from the sun. The Governing Board acted to approve funding to combine these two new technologies together to help residents and local communities around oil refineries and other heavy industries to better understand the impact those facilities may be having on their air quality. Every year since 1988, the South Coast AQMD Governing Board has hosted the Clean Air Awards to honor individuals and businesses, public agencies, and others for making significant contributions to cleaner air in our Southland. Here are this year's winners for the 27th Annual Clean Air Awards. My objectives are really to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and to, at the same time, obviously reduce air quality pollutants by energy efficiency, particularly in the buildings and appliances, also through more renewables, and at the same time to really look at innovation in our homes, in our utility system, and also in our transportation system. The key here is the work has just got started. I don't feel I've won the award yet till I continue the work till I, the point when I consider myself deserving of it. But I'm very grateful for the award and the opportunity to be here today. We won our Clean Air Award today to reduce, by reducing pollution in the atmosphere. Our vehicles are all electric, emissions free, makes the air cleaner, makes the world a better place to live. We save over 60 tons of CO2 annually per vehicle. Today we won a Clean Air Award for Commute SM for the Commuter Challenge program that we did for them. It was a six month campaign in which we encouraged individuals to take alternate forms of transit to get to work. We achieved great results and we did it under a very small budget as well. We won our Clean Air Award for the community service and for the things that we do for our uh, patrons, for our stakeholders within Los Angeles County. Uh, we run the cleanest fuel fleet in the whole nation, uh, 2200 CNG buses. We are using the cleanest, greenest fleet in all of our construction activities and we have our staff and all the people who are working for LA Metro being environmental compliant and are very receptive in community service and dealing with all of these community engagement. We're really excited about the award because it honors the organization in a mission that we're really passionate about. You know, we really believe in coming up with creative, innovative, uh, you know, new ways and fun ways to get people engaged in different sustainability issues. We won our award for making environmental protection second nature in young minds. Specifically, we're inspiring and we're empowering students to care for the environment and reduce emissions. At Grades of Green, we have the privilege of working with over 250,000 students in 350 schools across 40 states and six countries towards these efforts. We come from a politically disenfranchised community, as well as like the fact that we are youth. Um, our voices are not often heard. Um, it's, like Michelle mentioned, this started off as a project and we were able to accomplish something for our community that hadn't been done before. South Coast AQMD's Governing Board usually meets at their Diamond Bar headquarters on the first Friday of each month except August. Our job at South Coast AQMD is to find out where air pollution is coming from, figure out ways to reduce it, and then work together with businesses, lawmakers, scientists, and the community so that we can all have clean, healthy air to breathe. And all this work is under the leadership of a 13-member governing board. Three of the board members are appointed by state elected officials, one by the Governor of California, one by the State Assembly, and one by the State Senate. There are four county supervisors representing Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties. Six are local city council members representing the cities in each county. You are always welcome to join us and participate or follow the meeting as it is live streamed online at our YouTube channel, South Coast AQMD and AQMD.gov. Past meetings, agendas, and information on each item can also be found on our website. We encourage you to get connected to South Coast AQMD. Check out our apps for smartphones and iPads. We have a bi-monthly publication called the Digital Advisor that can be read online or on our interactive iPad app that you can download from the App Store.
You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Visit us at aqmd.gov to learn how you can help us clean the air that we breathe.